I'm sure you've heard about self-driving cars, but have you heard of self-driving boats? Well, the technology could be coming sooner than you think. And new at noon, 13 News Now reporter Megan Shen takes us inside the groundbreaking research at Old Dominion University. Professor Yanis Papelis is behind some groundbreaking research in Hampton Roads. I love my job, let me put that way. <laughs> His research is on self-driving boats. His electric catamaran is coming to life inside Old Dominion University's V-Mask building. This is literally where the cutting edge of work is right now. Over two years, Professor Papelis and 40 students developed this $150,000 boat. Uh, I can't say enough about how great it is to have an opportunity for this. All day, the group fine-tunes algorithms so the boat can direct itself in open water. All their work is in hopes of winning an international autonomous boat competition. The problem is to build machines that have enough intelligence to follow instructions precisely and understand what the goal is. Papella says he understands people might be a little freaked out by the idea. In fact, most assume artificial intelligence means and it's going to grow up and want to have a family and, you know, it doesn't work that way, right? The Navy donated the catamaran to the university, no strings attached. But the research the university is doing on this other Navy boat is helping the Navy with its goals, too. It can be carried by one or two people and it can be very quickly dropped in the water and be sent to do surveillance. You can actually start seeing practical applications of it that go beyond the laboratory. That's when it becomes interesting because that's when you can start making a difference. So Papellas hopes the university can make Hampton Roads a winner at the competition in December and even more an innovative community. I think this is something that I would like the community to be proud of. In Suffolk, Megan Shin, 13 News Now.